either people that want to be mad at me or something like that. At least I feel like, at least now we voice our opinions and we have something right. to say. You know what I'm saying? Like even like I'm not the smartest or the or the you know what I'm saying or the mm-hmm. right person. You know what I'm saying all the time. But like at least people have something to say, and that's at least we got the dialogue going, man. Exactly. At least we open up the doors for comments to mean meaningful comments. Like of course, right. if you're just a blogger that has like bullshit ass shit to say, like fuck him, whatever. Like I don't care about that shit, dog. Like we can go to World Star Hip Hop. <laughs> and they said that my A verb all day and I feel like A verb is the most talented dude I know. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so like it's not about that to me. Like, man, come on, dog. Like when I first came up, like, in the music game, I made beats. And I still mm-hmm. make beats. Like, I got an album coming out, but I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. <laughs> I don't believe in rapping. Like, I believe in artists. I feel like rapping is a disease. When you say you're a rapper, that sounds like you got something. Like, right. like you know what I'm saying? I believe in artists. Like, like in my, you never know what you'll hear in my tape. Like, you might hear, like, you might hear Def Leppard or Erica Badu. Like, that's just what I am. Like, I respect all the music. And I know now truly because... I didn't achieve so much in the hip-hop game that music has no genres. Mm-hmm. And we never heard a Rihanna mixtape. When last Rihanna mixtape you heard? I don't think I've ever heard of a Rihanna mixtape. Exactly. When last, like, I ain't gonna lie, when is the last ass, uh, let's go, uh, Molly Cyrus mixtape? <laughs> Come on, man. You know good and well. Come on. I'm not, no, never. Never, never, never. We, like, we hear... I mean, I, I, I hear what you say, and I definitely get your point, and I hope everyone else, you know, who's listening to this, is a part of hip-hop. Like, I ain't gonna lie, but the last, like, but they will go get hip-hop artists and put them on their records and all that. So I'm not saying it in reverse. I'm saying, like, right now in St. Louis, we suffered. But let's be 100% real across the board. Our music been whack for a minute. I've been a part of that. Everybody has been putting out shit, been a part of that. Correct? Mm, okay, I'll, I'll say that. Collectively, we have not, I'm going to say it like this, collectively, St. Louis has not held it down the way we should. Just, look, look, listen to me. I put out whack shit. I'm whack sometimes. <laughs> Like, like, it's not that I'm saying that we're whack as, like, you're whack that you can't do. I'm just like, we need to try better and just concentrate right. on our more. That, that's what I'm saying. The shit that got us there. That's what I'm saying. Well, we definitely need to go back to the stuff that got us there and then, you know, expand from there. You know, because it just seems like we, we've gotten stuck, man. You know, just, just stuck. Yeah. You know, instead of elevating, we just hit a plateau, and now we just flatlining. No, we not flat- sinking. No, we flatlined. We sink. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, we did, we rode out on the Titanic, and every like the Titanic when they first rode out, everybody thought it was a party, until the ship started sinking and the band went down with it. And we don't want to get out there, motherfucker. Oh shit, man! What a way to phrase it, but I mean, it, it, it is definitely an accurate, you know, metaphor. Like I, I'm, I, like you, you understand what I'm saying? Like it's not even like that, big girl. Like I'm 100 percent real. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 100 percent real. You know what I'm saying? You know, man. We definitely appreciate it. We definitely-